Hey guys, so today I did a DIY video. Um, it's a spring summer inspired and it's gonna be on tie-dye shorts. I saw these shorts um, actually on Karma Loop and I've also seen them at Wet Seal by Almost Famous. But when I went back to get them, they were completely sold out and I was really sad so I just decided to make my own. And it's really, really simple. I did a um, yellow, it looks blue, but it's teal, and then pink. I felt like these were perfect for spring and summer because they're really, really bright. And I would probably wear these with just a plain white tank top or maybe even a cropped white tank top and some sandals. This is actually a collaboration video with Nicole Elise here on YouTube. She's an amazing YouTuber. You guys should go check out her channel. I will link all of her information down below. If you guys want to see how I did these myself, then just keep watching. Hey guys, we're in my bathroom, and so is Bandit. So I got all of my items for this project at Hobby Lobby. I got some gloves, those were 99 cents. I have my tubes, they all have a little nozzle or like squirt or spout thing on the end of them. Those are 99 cents each. And then I got my tie dyes, which um, were $2.99 each. And mine are in the color um, bright pink, sunshine, really, and teal. Um, I also have three Tupperwares. Those are not from Hobby Lobby. I'm just using those to mix each color individually. I just put some regular bags underneath the shorts. Um, my shorts are from a store called Rapsidel. I believe that's how I say it. They are just some basic, um, some basic white shorts. They're already cut off, but I'll probably destroy them more. These were only $10. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and boil my water, and then I will be back. Okay, I just poured about half of the packet into um, each container. I'm just going to start with half and then add more as I feel. And then I have my water, which is steaming hot. I boiled that, and I'm just going to add it and kind of eyeball these. I just went ahead and put the color into the tube, and then I'm going to put it on the shorts. I went about that much up with the pink, and then I'm gonna move on to blue. Okay, now I'm starting with blue, or teal. I put it in the bottle again, and I'm just gonna do the middle of the shorts and kinda let it bleed into the pink so that it uh, makes like a purple. I'm just adding the blue all throughout the middle of the shorts, and then letting it bleed right here to make a purple color. I'm going to move on to um, yellow and then I'll be back uh, to touch up all of the colors so they blend a little bit more and fade correctly. Really? Really? Do you have to be so close? Really? Do you want to be dyed pink? Yes, that means yes. Okay, the last color I'm doing is going to be yellow. It looks orange, but it's yellow. And I'm just going to do the top of the shorts and let the yellow bleed into the um, bluish teal so that it makes more of a green color. I'm just going to um, start putting the yellow right onto the shorts directly. And then um, I'll be blending it down into the teal color. Just flip your shorts over and do the same exact thing. I'm just putting the yellow, the blue, and the pink just how I did on the front. Okay, now all I would do is go back and touch up all of the spots um, that are missing color and just blend the colors together and use up the rest of my colors. And then I'm just going to let these sit probably for about 40 minutes and then I'm going to throw them in the wash. 
letting them sit for 40 minutes. I'm going to put them in my tub and then I'm going to run hot water and let them soak a little bit uh, just to help fade the colors. Okay, so I just let them soak in hot water and I added some of my laundry detergent and I just kind of washed them or you know, soaked them in the soap and then I rinsed them out and then they are going to go into the dryer.